Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and I'm going to show you what it was like for me to unbox glass. This is the Google Glasses, for those of you that aren't familiar. I picked those up and I made a video about that, and when you arrive there, they don't give you a chance to film unboxing it or anything like that. So this is what I received. You actually get brought before a table where you can select a color. I actually selected it ahead of time, but they give you a chance to switch and then they hand you this bag. And this bag has glass and a couple accessories, and I thought I'd show you exactly what it looks like. Now I've repackaged this along with the accessories to give you an idea of exactly what it's like to unbox glass. So you can see we have the two boxes here. They both say glass on them. We'll get to those in a moment. And you can see this says glass. And if I pull the top off here, and actually let me show you the box. It's really nice. And this is Explorer Edition Shell. You can see there. A box. I mean, it's just a box, but it's a very nice box. And this is a bit pricey. The Explorer Edition comes in at $1,500, so very, very pricey. And underneath here you can see it's got some instructions. Let's get started. Tells you how to turn it on, how to adjust it. And they actually walked me through that in New York City at the Google place that I picked this up at, or the, the loft that I picked this up at. Now I did rip this paper, but it's attached here with glue. And you can see this is just how glass sits in the box. It's, it's pretty nice. And you can see it says listen, on, off, touch, capture, see. We pull glass out of here. We'll move it aside. And actually I'll set it over here to keep it safe out of the way. And we pull this off. And what you'll see underneath here is this is actually a Japanese microfiber pouch that they use for storing it. And this is just a little pamphlet that shows you how to use the drawstring on it and tells you a little bit about it. And it's really nice. You can see it says glass in here. I don't know if you can see that. But it's hard plastic underneath, really soft microfiber. And then to clean the glass lens, you can just pull this out, clean it off, and then push it back in. And it holds glass nicely and keeps it safe. And then you have this drawstring, like I said. The other thing we have is these nice accessories. And these accessories are really thought out well, as goofy as that may sound. I'll show you that in a moment. What we have here is a little booklet, and inside this booklet are a couple extra nose pads for the glasses. And then it's got some questions and answers, and then it's talking about Google Glass there. Now you can see here's a USB cable. It's a little bit different, and you can see it's black and white, just like the power adapter's black and white. And as goofy as it may sound, it's really thoughtful in that they made it so you put white on top and black on the bottom. They match. It's just an easy way to figure out which way it goes. And then this plugs into the bottom of glass and actually holds it up. You can see it's sideways there. Now along with these different accessories in the box, you get extra accessories and you may or may not be familiar with them. I posted some pictures on Instagram using them. You have clear glasses which I actually haven't even opened. Let me open these up now I guess. I have not even opened these up and then you get sunglasses as well. If I pop this out of the box here you can see you open it up and it comes in another microfiber case and clear glasses. And on the back, they say XE for Explorer Edition. Now, I don't know what you would really use the clear glasses for. I guess you could use them as safety glasses or something along those lines. Uh, maybe if you play racquetball or something. But the ones I use are actually the, the sunglasses. So we'll stick this back in here for now. Slide it back in the box. I'll show you the sunglasses. Same thing, just sunglasses. And I have used these a few times. Kind of look like the Terminator with them. You can see these are the black ones, or sunglasses. They're actually pretty dark. They're really nice lenses. Uh, I believe they're polarized lenses. And you can see you slip it back in this case. Not so easy to do sometimes. But what you really want to see, I'm sure, is glass itself. So this is the color shale. They come in a couple different colors. Black, which they call coal. They have blue a lighter blue, an orange, and a white. And I chose shale because it's more 
neutral than more than most rather and you can see you have this band around the top google says this is titanium and i've felt titanium before and it's really not this flexible so i'm not sure what the difference is but the nose pads also same thing or the arms rather and google adjusted this to my face specifically so it's really set up just for me as far as the height and everything the device itself you can see here has a button on top you've got a touch pad on the side this piece right here is an entire touch pad then you've got the arm and this arm moves out and in but not up and down and then you've got your prism here and you can kind of see the pattern there I think it's a little bit darkened too so you can see it then we have a 5 megapixel camera inside you've got a TI OMAP processor you also have 16 gigabytes of internal storage and in this back piece there's actually a battery it's not a very big battery it's somewhere around 500 milliamp hours but after using it for a couple days I find that I can get through a full day with it as long as I'm using it uh, as intended I guess as far as it pushing you information if you play with it a lot throughout the day you record a lot of video you'll actually end up having to charge it once if not twice so you can see the top here the side on the bottom we have our USB plug and like I mentioned this is shaped a little bit differently so if you plug it in here it actually balances and it's a nice flat cable too it's it's not a rounded cable it's a flat cable design and it's just a really nice cable I wish more phones and things would use those as well the display is really nice let me see if I can turn it on and that's what this button is a power button there we go and you've got an indicator light on the back here that lights up it will pulse like a Apple product actually when it's charging and it's turning on it takes a minute to boot and it has different antennas in it. it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth but no 3G antenna and let's see if we can see anything in the display I don't see anything on yet the one thing I did not point out is it's got a sensor right here it's a proximity sensor it actually knows when it's on your face and when you take them off it shuts off when you put it back on it turns back on so I can show you these I actually had to turn off the head detection that I talked about here it actually doesn't work uh, unless it's on your head it kind of knows the distance from it and everything now there's a couple different gestures you need to know on the side forward back pretty obvious it slides the the screen left to right and I'll show that in a different video and show you exactly what you see and then you tap it so you tap it to turn it on let's see if you can see this illuminate oh actually it's lit up right now if I tap it again you can see right there it came on I can swipe back and forth you can see the, the picture change and if I want to go off I swipe down so you get the idea of how it works and it's pretty simple as far as that goes but over time it starts to learn one thing I forgot to point out is this piece right here this is a bone conducting speaker and you can hear it and you may have heard some of those dings as it's turning on and off and things and it's actually a bone conducting speaker in that it rattles your head a little bit it rattles the bones above your ear and it really works well in fact if you plug your ears you can hear it better I have a friend that actually can't hear out of his right ear due to some damage with his eardrum however he was able to hear this just fine so that was pretty neat it actually uh, gave him some hearing in his ear that he couldn't hear out of before so uh, that that could be uh, really neat for someone that has hearing issues in that ear as well now there aren't prescription versions at this time and I'll be reviewing this more in depth in other videos but there aren't prescription versions this is an early version it's basically uh, a beta test program a prototype and they even update the software regularly and there's all sorts of things they're doing with it but I'll go through the different menus in a different video if you have any questions or comments or or anything that you'd like to see about these that you haven't found anywhere else please place those in the comments below or send me a message and I'll try and answer those questions if I can if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe as always thanks for watching this is Aaron I'll see you next time